Hey, what's up guys? Drake Garibay here for GaribayComputer.com. Welcome back to another tech tip of the week. Today I'm going to be discussing the defective power jack on an Asus gaming laptop, the G53JW model. This laptop does come with a defective power jack. The thing breaks off. It's very cheap. I'm actually quite surprised that Asus didn't recall this laptop for that defect. First of all, there is soldering involved here, so if you're not an experienced soldering technician, I recommend you have someone help you out or you find an old circuit board to practice on beforehand. Uh, the iron is very hot, very dangerous, so away from the tip and the barrel, it will burn you. And uh, keep in mind, it, you can totally brick your motherboard by uh, messing up soldering and uh, you can totally damage the sockets out, the joints. So uh, keep all this in mind, be very careful with it. Okay, let's begin. So the first thing you're going to need to do is disassemble your entire laptop, as you can see I did here. Um, a lot of patience, uh, don't force anything, you're going to be popping off panels, unscrewing a lot of screws. Uh, so, what you're going to need, of course, is a Phillips screwdriver to unscrew all these screws. You can go ahead and use a magnetic screwdriver, you should be fine. Just make sure you keep it away from the hard drive. Next tool you will need is uh, either some pry tools or a flathead screwdriver. This is obviously for prying off panels or popping panels off. Uh, one major tip I can give you is you're gonna have a lot of screws built up so you need to organize these screws otherwise you will forget which screws go where. The screws are different lengths so it is important to know where they go. I recommend taking a lot of pictures before you unscrew and also get some plastic baggies or maybe some paper cups store the screws in there and label the paper cups or the bags uh, for example bottom panel screws or keyboard screws battery screws this way you have a real good idea of what screws go where oh one other thing in addition i'm going to link you up with a uh, asus g53jw laptop disassembly by Poma made DC jack repair. Uh, they got a good video on it. They covered it in about five minutes. It's obviously sped up, but it's going to give you a really good idea on how to disassemble the laptop. So shout out to Pomeroy DC jack repair. Link will be in the description. So once the laptop is fully disassembled, you uh, will remove the motherboard, place it on a cardboard box or something stable, and you're going to begin to remove the old power jack. You're going to take your soldering iron, turn it on, and you're going to take a piece of soldering wick, maybe dip some flux on top of the joints, and you are going to place the soldering wick on top of the joints, and then you're going to place your soldering iron on top of the wick and begin to heat up the joints. And ultimately, once it reaches that high temperature where the solder melts, the soldering wick will absorb the solder like a sponge pretty much. And you continue to do that to each joint until all the solder is gone. And you can begin to wiggle loose this power jack. Now, one thing I can tell you is that you sometimes may need to add some new solder to these joints and it helps with heating up the joints and removing it because if you're using the soldering wick you're noticing hey these joints are not melting well go ahead and add a little solder to each joint just to help uh, build up the heat another tip I want to let you in on is if you have most majority of the solder off and the the power jack isn't coming popping off what you want to do is just take your soldering iron lightly place it on the joints and heat up the joints and get some pliers with your other hand and begin to pry off the power jack I know this helped me out a lot so you may have to uh, fiddle with it for a bit it's definitely going to take some finesse to get this power jack off but just be patient with it Try not to smack other components or rest your soldering iron on any plastic areas such as that black ethernet casing you can see right above the power jack there. So once you do have it off, 
you are going to be left with an empty socket joint area. Now this one looks cleaned up because I wiped it down with a Q-tip dipped in 70% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, you do want to use that type of alcohol. You can go ahead and pick it up from your local drugstore for a couple bucks. Make sure it's 70% isopropyl alcohol. And you want to wipe down both sides of the joints. Get it all cleaned up. And then uh, use the dry end of the Q-tip to do a little bit of additional scrubbing. And once the joints all cleaned up, we will move on to just snapping in the new power jack. Um, I ordered this off of Amazon. Link will also be in the description. It was only one dollar. Uh, take about a week to get to me though. Um, not too bad. But yeah, once you get it, just go ahead and uh, pop it in that socket there. It should pop right in, no problems. And then on to the next step, we're going to be soldering this new power jack in. Now there is five joints that you need to solder. Two on the outside, three in the middle. Um, this isn't so bad. You just want to um, touch the soldering iron to the flux core solder. If you do not have flux core solder, you want to uh, lightly coat each joint with some flux. Flux is what's gonna help the uh, the uh, components oxidize and help the solder to stick to the joints. Here's my end result. Not too bad for a soldering job. Uh, good enough. The joints are real strong. This ain't going anywhere. So once you have your power jack soldered back onto the motherboard, you got a solid solder. All the joints are pretty good. Not too much solder, not too little solder, and the joints are not touching each other. You're good to go. You're ready to reassemble your entire laptop. Basically, just back trace your steps, and hopefully you labeled all your screws so you can put everything back together again nicely. I want to get into the main fix which is the prevention of this issue and also let's say you have a new power jack installed you want to take this preventative measure that way your power jack doesn't break off on you again this is the key to preserving your power jack this is the Bix Power LC53 right angle connector converter plugs right into your existing AC adapter head and what it does is it's it's amazing how this actually works with your power jack it slips right in and out as you can see here very easy puts no strain on the power jack what i mean whatsoever especially compared to this part right here this uh without this right angle adapter this thing is goes into the power jack very strong very snug and it, you literally have to yank it out each time and that's what's causing these pins to break the heat dissipation on this uh, original AC adapter head is terrible it gets super hot which also makes it stick and hard to pull out I've been testing with this right angle adapter and my computer's been on I've been running the heck out of it and this right angle adapter barely even gets hot and it just pops right in right out nice and smooth putting as little strain as possible on the power jack okay so this right angle adapter is a must you need to get this got it from amazon only five bucks uh, link will be in the description and trust me this thing is a lifesaver that's going to wrap up this tech tip of the week any questions comments leave in the comment section below we will do our best to answer and help you out stay tuned for the next video